Well, here's our back cabin with a vent put in it because we're having a new Espacha heating system. You can see that when you're in a boat, um, it uh, gets pretty crowded here. There's stuff everywhere. And uh, there's our microwave now in action. Um, and if I go up the stairs, you'll see outside there's going to be a race to um, a race to um, England. It's all pretty crowded. Well, I can't see a thing actually. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. I apologise if this is a bit jumpy. It's because I had my sunglasses on, I couldn't see what I was recording. And there's Cornelia, I think, down there, chatting away. And uh, the album must have tried to get us to move. Uh, there he is. And this is the harbour. That's Gavin Ingen. And uh, there's our washing. Uh, you see Corey Smalls on there, and maybe mine as well. Uh, which is unusual because I don't normally like wearing trousers. Anyway, there you go. Now this is the pontoon next to us. You can see all the kit there. That's going to be put in the boat. And uh, then there's the apartments. It's the mass of boats here that are impressive. Let's see them all. We're going to race at 7.30 in the morning again tomorrow. We've got another problem, of course, with the water. I'm not getting any raw water into the engine. It's not coming out the outlet pipe, so that's something else I've got to look at. I've already checked to make sure that there was no blockage on the um, outlet to the sea. Uh, stop clock, I opened that up and got water in that. I then pushed the rod through from the water filter, that's all right. So the next thing for me to look at is the impeller. And then after that, if the impeller's all there and it works, it's fine, otherwise I've got to go to the heat exchanger.